Were you in the first live or the 50th? I was, yeah, in the 50th I had three scenes um, that involved Catherine Kelly and Simon Gregson. It was the Rovers' back room. They were very intense three-handers and I do remember the adrenaline rush from that. It was, yeah, nothing tops it. Mm. Yeah. And what, what about you, Jack? Uh, well, I've been in two lives now, but I, I never really had a big part in it. I was in it, so I felt part of it. But... Um, never in I want right at the forefront do you know what I mean so I think this live will will be very very different when we're the centre story you know so yeah. Yeah. Well, you know even though you haven't seen the scripts you know the story there's going to be a fair amount of pressure on you you know do you worry about the the um, Joe Joyner EastEnders moment at all I think it's really flattering that they've got faith in us to carry a story like that mm. and I just think you've got to try and contain that you know obviously not let it go over your head just think, you know what, they've got the confidence in us to be able to, to do this story and do it well. So I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. Looking forward? We fluff. we fluff, I mean, you know, mm. our jobs aren't on the line, are they? I hope yeah. not. But <laughs> yeah. No one's going to die. I don't know, yeah, someone might. Anything. Callum Logan is looking like he's going completely out of control. Um, can that man redeem himself or is he going to go all the way? Uh, well, I think he's very capable of everything and anything. I think he could uh, kill someone. Um. <laughs> he rattled his cage, and I just yeah. think he just, yeah. It's not even about winning Max back anymore. It's just about getting the ultimate revenge, because he, he wants that reputation to, you know, to stand, and I think because we've sort of tampered with that, he's just not happy at all. As you say, you know, it's not about Max anymore. In fact, Max um, comes to, you know, um, get but become afraid of him and um, not like him. Can you tell us about that? Um, well, yeah, that's uh, he's, he sort of goes on a vendetta, does Callum against all the plots. So against uh, Max, uh, Sarah, Audrey, uh, Jason, they all sort of um, uh, feel his wrath. Really, do you know what I mean? They all sort of. He goes on this big vendetta against them all, so no one's safe, yeah. I think. So anyone could be bumped off. <laughs> Including himself. Including himself. Yeah. Um, how does Kylie, how do you imagine Kylie feels about bringing this into the Platts world? Very guilty. Massively guilty. But I'm thinking, because Sarah started dating him, really, it's her fault. We'd kind of wrapped it up, you know, we'd have fought him for custody and then could have ended, but obviously... The fact that um, Sarah has now formed this relationship with him, there's been other involvement there. Um, so, but yeah, from from my point of view, yeah, very guilty. And uh, yeah, she just wants it to be the way it was before, before the drugs and everything. But yeah, she's do, sorry. Do you do you ever think um, Kylie and David will get to back, get back to that point? Uh, Maybe. I don't think anything could ever be how it was, like right at the beginning, yeah. before they were married. But isn't that what marriage is about? You know, when you get knocked down and then you rebuild something else and it's just a new way of their relationship evolving, I guess, and developing. Or ending. And then they're growing together. You know, that's, that's life, so we'll have to see. Yeah. Well, if they can survive something like this happening, then, you know. It was quite interesting, the, um, the, the Coronation Street uh, producer, Stuart Blackburn, just said earlier that, um, you know, here's the thing, you know, we're, it's good David Platt, you know, um, mm. you, know it's, you know, life has uh, gone full circle and you've gone from the psychotic episodes to, to being the uh, good guy. Yeah, well, I think David's always craved this uh, family unit ever since uh, Martin sort of divorced Gail, really, and he's always wanted a family. And uh, so I think he'll do everything to try and um, keep hold of that. So when he is um, got, when he does have Max, Lily, and Kylie, he's, he's a doting dad and a, a loving husband. But I think if someone threatens that, then he, he will go all the way and try and defend that. <laughs> Are you um, giving us another hint about the? Uh... Maybe. <laughs> Maybe yeah. Just watch. Watch out. <laughs>